how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video and I'm starting in the car again because it's freezing outside. Um, this is just like a, a follow up slash part two to my last video because I know I messed that video up. Like I didn't show how I attached the spoiler to the car um, and I got on quite a few comments asking if I can do like a part two and show how it is actually done. And this is that video as you already guessed. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I've got a few things to do, I've got to go get a haircut, uh, I've got to go get a key cut for my house as well because I snapped mine. And uh, then I'm gonna go to the shop and pick up a few extra bits that I'm gonna use on my spoiler um, and I'm gonna change it up a little bit because I have noticed when I shut my boot, it rattles a little bit like, like the spoiler's loose. Even though when I pull it and shake it, it's on there rock solid. It still makes a bunch of noise, so I'm going to try and get a couple of rubber washers or something to stop like metal on metal hitting, I guess. That's what the noise is. Uh, so I'm going to do that and then uh, we'll get into the actual video. And I'll see you in a minute, guys. Alright, I'm here, ready to get my hair cut. Let's hope I can get my hair cut because they are going on lunch in like 20 minutes. So yeah, let's see if I can get my hair cut. really quick actually I got in there at half past it's now like 39 minutes past I don't know if you can tell how quickly they did my hair because they wanted to go for lunch but you know it's shorter and I'm getting hairs everywhere or oh, itchy but yeah I'll have to have a bath later and sort it all out just gelled it up really quickly anyway let's go and I'll turn off the air conditioning because that's a petrol waster uh, let's go and get the bits that I need for my spoiler. I'm hoping the camera's not shaking too much because while I'm sat here idling, the camera's wobbling a bit. I'm hoping the camera sorts itself out and fixes that wobble, but let's go get the parts I need for my spoiler. All right, guys, we just parked up. This guy's looking at me funny because I've parked really dodgily, only because the person next to me has parked really bad. But, uh, we're here and basically what I need to get is, I don't know if you can see this, if it'll focus, I don't think it will because my face is in there. But a bolt like this, it's not gonna, it's gonna keep focusing on my, on my face. I need to get a bolt like this, but longer. Uh, and then I need to get some rubber washers that will sit around it. Um, so I'm gonna go have a look for them. And uh, hopefully, try and find some different sort of spaces as well because the way the spoiler is sitting at the minute i'm not quite happy with it so this is this isn't going to be this this will still be a part two but it's going to be like a version two of the diy spoiler i'm not going to be spending any more money all right guys it's been a little while i've got my keys cut um my petrol lights just come on brilliant <laughs> Uh, I haven't yet found a place where I can get... Alright, I dropped that as well. I haven't yet found a place to get these extended screws that I want with the plastic washers. Um, I've got one more place I want to try on my home. Hopefully I will uh, get the screws from there. Um, I'll give you an update once, once I'm there. I'm, I'm pretty much like 100% sure I'll get the screws that I need from there. So, uh, yeah. We're going to do that and then we will go home and sort the spoiler out. Alright guys, for the fifth time I'm doing this, we are back. You may have noticed it's a different day. I'm wearing different clothes because it is a different day and I'm wearing different clothes. And there's a bug. But, nonetheless, we're back with the car, uh, getting ready to sort the spoiler out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you around the spoiler as it is on the car. Because I haven't taken it off yet since I made the last video. Uh, I'm going to show you how it is on the car and how the the razors are looking. I'm pretty shocked at how they're looking right now, to be honest, because they've moved since I put them on. Uh, that's part of the reason why I'm going to be doing this as well, because I'm going to change the way they were on the car. 
So anyway, let's get walking around and uh, I will show you the car, the spoiler and the screws I'm going to be using. Right, so guys, we this is how the they're looking on the car right now. See how this back part of the plastic is attached to the spoiler, but it's up against the metal of the boot and then it's turned itself and now there's all of this part of the screw exposed it's also like i don't know the screw looks really horrible on the back here so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be taking this oh, if it focuses so yeah what i'm going to be doing is taking this silver screw out right out and then i'm going to be putting one of them black spaces in oh actually i haven't shown you them them to you yet guys so yeah basically these are the extra things I've bought. I've got these little black spacers. They're not much bigger than my finger now, to be honest. Uh, so they, the video may deceive them as being really big. They're not. I was originally just going to take what I had put on the car and use just these things. But I'm not going to do that anymore. What I'm going to do is take the silver screw out I just showed you. Put this spacer in between the fix-it block and the, on, uh, the boot. Uh, so there's no like loose movement between the metal and the screw if you know what I mean the metal of the boot and the screw I may end up using some of these screws if I do I'll let you know but just for reference this black one this black screw right here is the standard screw this is the set next size up that I bought and then this bit with the spacer on it which is probably the screw I'm going to be using is the next size up from that it doesn't look much bigger than this screw but it is a little bit bigger. So yeah, anyway, we'll get to that. I'll put you on the tripod, get you set up, and we will start removing the spoiler again. All right, guys, I'm hoping my camera is gonna stay here because it just, it literally just started freaking pouring it down. But uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna time lapse it, but I'm gonna do what I have done on the other side to show you sort of what I'm doing. And I'm gonna cover the camera up with a mic, blah, blah, blah cloth right so basically this top screw here I'm hoping the camera's still pointed I'm going to have to do this again uh, this is the standard screw up here oh. standard screw coming out and then so what I'm going to do is replace this back one with the longer screw uh, um, I will put this on it but that will go in between like in between the spoiler and the boot so I might have to take oh shit so yeah we will go in between there as you can see this was not held in very good because I've just pulled the bolt right through Now, the spacer is sandwiched between Now, the spacer is sandwiched between that bit uh, I've now got to get this bloody screw out Always Right, so that screws out And now Right, so now I've got the screw with the black spacer on it and this will be wedged in between the fix-it block and the screw, like that, like so. Just line them up. Sorted. All right, guys, I've got my hood up now. I have to, it's raining, my camera's going to get soaked holding it out like that, and my face is really white. Camera, sort yourself out. There we go, a little bit better. But anyway, as you just saw, we've done this side, I've already done the other side, I'm not going to record both sides because it's the same thing, and I'll give you a quick little walk around of what it looks like now, and how much better it's going to be, um, and I'll show you how much the spoiler's stuck up as well, 
I think it's lifted it a little bit more, hopefully, maybe. But anyway, we'll give a quick little walk around before my camera gets soaked, and then we'll uh, get inside the car and have a little chat to you guys. Right, so as you can see now, there's no screw showing. It's all one rock solid piece. That's what I wanted this spacer for, um, which basically makes it look like one of the Bomber Razor things anyway. So, you know, this has still cost me no less than a fiver. Uh, I've got one of them spacers at the back here now as well, whereas before I didn't have a spacer at all, it was just clamped together with the, the standard screw. You saw I replaced that. We'll quickly walk around to the other side. It's the same this side, and I've just put one of them little black spacers in between. And now if I shut it, it still sticks up. I don't like the fact that this bit sticks up, so I might take that black spacer out of there. But other than that, it looks pretty good, I think. It still sticks up a bit more. I just don't like the fact, like I said, that this bit is raised up now because now it just looks like the spoiler's not. I don't know, it just looks weird with this bit here raised up. Nonetheless, it looks good though. As you can see, it makes the spoiler look pretty uh, pretty mean, I think, from the back. Hi guys, my camera's wobbling. It's not on any stand at the minute. It's really wobbling. My face looks really orange right now. But yeah, um, I thought I'd just come back into the car to do a little bit of an outro and explain sort of this video because this video has been a little bit all over the place with being spread out between like three days I think it's been. Um, it happened to be pissing it down with rain when I come to actually doing the outside work on the spoiler which made me not record as much as I would because I can't have my camera out in the rain. Uh, I tried to record obviously me doing one side hopefully that'll be the main part of the video like you already know how it's been fixed i've just adapted so like I, it's, this is like a version two still below a fiver though so keep that in mind and i've got the hiccups but anyway guys i hope this video did help a little bit more than my last one i i apologize for my last one being really terrible um, I'm ha I have a feeling this video is going to be a little bit longer, but that's good because that just means I've added in more content. Um, I, I, well, basically, I'm going to end it here. It's Thursday now. It's Christmas on Monday, so uh, I want to wish everyone a happy Christmas. And uh, if you're watching this video after Christmas, <laughs> happy New Year. And if you're watching this video sometime in the future. But anyway, guys, I'm going to stop pissing about now. I hope everyone has a happy Christmas and uh, I'm going to peace out. I, I want to try to get one more video out before Christmas, hopefully. If not, then it'll be after Christmas. My hair looks really funky because I've squished it. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to end this video here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because there is plenty more to come, hopefully, in the new year. Um, fingers crossed for that, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah. I'm going to head out and uh, I appreciate everyone coming back for the second video, part two, if you will, part two, version two, whichever you want. But anyway, thank you guys and uh, I will see you in my next video. Be there.